Hello and welcome back to Southampton International Boat Show 2022 and this week we're having a look at the Bali 4.6 catamaran and their dealer in the UK Clipper Marine. So we're here today on the Bali uh, catamaran range and I'm with Neil and Neil's going to tell us a little bit about this boat and the range that Bali has on offer. Hi Neil, Hello. so which boat are we on at the moment? Uh, this is a, a Bali 4.6, so I don't know why they call it 4.6 but it's 46 foot um, and 7.6 wide. So it's quite a large vessel isn't it's it? It's colossal, yeah. yeah. It's about, I've, I've worked it out, the usable space is um, 1,050 feet. 1,050 feet, that's quite yeah. larger than an apartment. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a cheaper and larger than the London apartment. Yeah. And to be fair, the fit out, I think if you had a London apartment that was fitted out like this, you'd be pretty pleased with yourself, yeah. I think. And I suspect it's half the price of a London apartment. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, so, yeah. anyway, go back to the subject. So, uh, tell us about the whole range of Bali. What, what size is the smallest up to the largest? So, the smallest, to start around uh, 39 feet. So, you have a Cat Smart, Cat's, Cat's Space, uh, 42, 44. This is a 46, and then 48, and then 54, which is enormous. So this is almost the largest boat in the range. Yeah. Yeah, one, one bigger than this. But this one has enormous amount of space. I mean, when I compare it with some of the uh, other boats, like the uh, Lagoon 46, this is just enormous compared yeah. with that. And up here, you've got this absolutely fantastic area with a lounge at the back here for people to yeah. uh, sit on. Yeah, it's and good space. also, you were telling me that you've actually done away with the traditional trampoline at the front of the boat. Yeah, so traditionally, the, the trampoline is there to reduce the weight because you want the weight back and up on the bow. And so back in the, the Prowse days, they, they had a field in um, Ford, but, but it, nobody really liked it. And so it's come away from that and it's now the trampoline. But the designer the, who works for Katana, so Ballet is owned by Katana, um, they have uh, done a box section, a lightweight box section to fill in the front. This sort of stops the flexing um, which a lot of people don't like on some cameras. Um, but because it's a box section, it, it, it's the same weight basically as um, the beam and the trampoline. But, but you have all of the benefits. You're looking at the water going past, it's overrated. Bean bags, quite frankly, live in the shop. So, <laughs> so you know, it, it's turned it into a luxury space to sunbathe and relax and helm. You know, it's, it's, Fantastic. It's and I imagine it's a lot better to, uh, when you're in a rocky anchorage, you know, and you're trying to get the anchor up or something, it's a much better platform to be working on. Yeah, you can, un unlike a lot of cats, you can actually see the anchor. So you can put your snubber on, your bridle. Um, I'll, you know, I'll show you. It's just a hatch and there it all is. Yeah. So yeah, it's a sturdy platform to work on. And what sort of accommodation do you have for sleeping on a 46 foot barley? So this one, this spec, has uh, what I call a transom cottage, which is a double uh, self-contained um, berth at the back with its own door and dive platform. Uh, that's got a heads and a shower. It has a double in port bow, large um, uh, bunks and that. And then down the starboard side is what I call the owner's um, apartment. It's just enormous. And also it's got a sliding door with a top, um, so you can just shut anyone else away that's on, on the boat. Sounds absolutely fantastic. That, that is this one. In the range, you can have, there's a, because it's, it's basically got four corners, you can have sort of any any configuration. So you can have double, 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 double. You can put a, um, a single crew cabin in the person's lock at the front. You can have bunks. You know, there's, a, there's a lot of variety. And tell us a little bit about the sort of cockpit area at the back here, because you've got a sort of completely single level walk through uh, outside space to inside space. Yeah, so so they call them um, uh, neutrally ventilated, which sort of means it has a door at the front and a door at the back. So the back is all open. It has sliding back, uh, double glazed doors, uh, windows, and a, basically a garage door, which is, which is a structural C door when it's all locked up, um, and that just has a sliding door. So in bad weather or you know, if it's a winter, because a lot of people will live on this 365 a year. Uh, you can lock it all up for the heating on, and it is snug. Um, but in the winter, in the summer, you open it up, and I'll show you. Um, and it, it just opens the whole thing up. The whole dynamic changes. It brings the um, seating at the back in. It just is an epic social space. And you've also got a door at the front going through to a little uh, area there. Yeah. So 
no one wants to walk up the sides. You, you know, you spend a lot of money on a boat, just walk through the front. It's safer, it's so much easier just, you know, going up on the bow, you know, serve drinks, you know, walk up on the bow for, for fear. Get those Caribbean breezes. Yeah, but even safety, you know, at sea or an anchor going down the side, you know, you just don't want it. If you've got your mother-in-law on here, she doesn't want to go down the side. No. You know, just open the door. And also there's a window as well. And they're both outward opening, which if you had a, if you had a big freaking wave, they would both slam closed anyway. And right. they're both sea doors and sea, sea window anyway. Now this one's got the flybridge, which is obviously very popular. Yeah. Do, does, uh, or do all your models have flybridges or do you do any with the mezzanine? Because of their size, they're sort of 39 feet, it's large enough to have flybridge. a flybridge. So I think you probably have them on all of them. Um, for me, I would, and an option is a Bimini hardtop. And I think in, in Northern Europe, this is just wet. And in Southern Europe, it's, you're just going to cook. Absolutely. So you need a Bimini hardtop. And then because it's a hardtop, you can hang things off of it. Yeah. So hang, hang sunshades in the summer and plastic in the winter. And this just then turns that into an enormous space. But, and also the thing I've noticed on some cats is that they have helm positions out there. Yeah. Who wants to helm? No, no one wants to helm. So your helm from here is so short. And I sat yesterday and I was in the... Uh, stern, sat on the sofa at the stern and I could see out the bow and I'm like a meerkat when I sail so I'm just all the time you know even though I know the horizon's you know half an hour away I'm like every two minutes. If I was to uh, order a boat here today at the boat show yes. and it was a 46 how long would it take me to get? Uh, this boat's available for about three weeks to a month after we've prepped it and added uh, whatever people want. We hope we've, we've ordered a 42, 44 and a 48 uh, 54 which um, we are hoping to get next year but the standard delivery uh, from Bali is apparently 24 months. Yeah. Okay and uh, just give us an idea of the ballpark figure for a boat like this, this is a 46 foot Bali. So the, the start price for this is 550 for a base model plus a VAT, this one um, is 712 as a stock item plus a VAT 880. OK, thank you very much, Neil. That's Neil from Clipper Marine, uh, who is the barley deer dealer here down in uh, Southampton area. So we are here at uh, Bali 4.6 and what a boat, isn't it, it? It really is actually. I was absolutely quite amazed. I've never been on a Bali before and this one is packed from one end to the other with deck space. It's, it's unbelievable how they maximise the space inside the boat. It's just space everywhere for everything, storage everywhere. They even have um, uh, American fridge. How about yeah, that? Yeah, big fridge <laughs> freezer, uh, beautiful nav table and uh, the full deck area is vast. The upper deck is vast and the big garage door that drops down I think is a, a brilliant idea. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. I'm really totally into this one. This one gives us, we give top marks don't we? Yeah, top marks. <laughs> Innovation.